Phoenix resale, you piece of garbage. Like this is this is like one of those videos, the daily housekeeping notes, right? This piece of crap right here, going around like a friggin' leprechaun from friggin' one booth to another booth to a friggin' game convention to another game convention, haggling every single store owner. Can I bring the price down of this so I can take that game, hoard it, go on my friggin' crappy app in my crappy Amazon store, and then up the yin yang profit of a thousand percent just so I can get the money. That's who Phoenix Resale is, okay? I see, I literally go on his Renix P Sell garbage YouTube channel, and this guy has a video that says, first person view of a deal with a subscriber. I told you, his members only describe, his members only thing, it's for people that are other reseller losers or someone that needs to make money going on him and be like, hey, Phoenix Resale, I have a video game collection. Come over to my place, come over to this. And then Phoenix Resale is like, okay, I'll come over. It's gonna be this price, but you're gonna be friggin' spotlighted on my YouTube in a video. That's all it's for. I called it from the from the first time I saw his members only. Phoenix friggin' resale, walking around, looking like a poindexter with his stupid prescription glasses that are so strong that you can see the other side of the friggin' moon like friggin' that Luca character in Chrono Trigger. All right, it makes me sick. And he walks around with this stupid, dirty, friggin' ar uh, green army colored friggin' backpack. It looks so stupid and dirty. It's got all these friggin' marks on it. He hasn't washed it in ages. There's probably a friggin' rat family in the bottom of the goddamn backpack. And on top of it is friggin' 14 copies of Wii Sports. He walks around with a stupid, bright colored green hoodie like he's a GameStop employee. Hey, Phoenix Riso, you piece of trash. Why is it that you're the only one that I find? He has videos of going to GameStop and then buying things on deals. How is it that you're the only one that finds these, huh? How is it that you're the only one for some reason that can go around from state to state and every single shop and find something really good deal and make money out of it while every other citizen that goes around to everything, they can't find anything. Why? Because it's reseller pieces of garbage like you, Renix Fiesel, and all the other resellers that want to be wannabe friggin' uh, Phoenix Riso resales you pieces of trash ruined the freaking video game collecting hobby you ruined it i just want to show little timmy that i used to play freaking earthroom gym one on the snes and i beat it when i was a kid that's all i want to show him but no because of you i have to pay freaking an arm and a leg of money just so i can buy the goddamn cart so what are you gonna make me do go to freaking aliexpress and find a freaking fake repro card of it and it doesn't even matter because those freaking aliexpress idiots are just taking roms and emulators from freaking the internet and just putting it in there what's the difference why am I paying so much money just to buy a friggin' a Wii Sports or something like that? Why? Because pieces of trash like Phoenix Resale think it's the right thing to do. He took the fun out of it, right? He doesn't even play games. He doesn't even actually play the games of what he buys. He just does it solely for the reason so he can take out his stupid app, scan the goddamn barcode, and see how much money he can make out of it. You are a complete foul and toxic human being, Phoenix Resale. You are the friggin' devil of the goddamn retro gaming selling community and and the retro gaming collecting hobby. And this is the same piece of trash that instead of waiting in line at a game convention like every other person should, like a normal human being, right? This is a North America, right? We all have equal rights. But no, since Phoenix Riso looks like a poindexter with his bright colored hoodie, his stupid flood shorts, his dumb shoes, he walks to the front of the line and friggin' tries to sweet talk the friggin' gatekeeper. Hey, gatekeeper, let me in early. I'm a big YouTube. My name is friggin' Penis Rear Slot. I want to get in there and just do the recording because if I wait too long, it's gonna get too busy and I can't really record with my camera. So in the beginning, the gatekeepers used to let him in, right? They used to let him in and be like, all right, sure, why not? But then they caught on to something. Wait a minute, why is it that after Phoenix Riso has done his recording and freaking leaves the convention, there's no more rare games to buy. All these freaking citizens that are here at the game convention are complaining they can't find the good deals anymore. Guess what? It was freaking Phoenix Riso going in there with his stupid camera, hoarding up all the goddamn deals from every single booth you can think of haggling at it as well instead of paying one dollar he wants to pay 50 cents for it and then he tells the friggin booth owner hey if you give it to me for this fit cheap price of 50 percent off i'll friggin highlight you in my friggin P uh, phoenix resale video how about that and of course the booth owner is going to say yes why because ain't no real citizen at this point buying games at that price the only ones that are buying these games are resellers that's ridiculous it's supposed to be selling to actual normal citizens for the joy of collecting for the 
the joy of showing people, hey, I used to play this, here's the cart, here's this, here's that. But no, all your resellers came into the market and just completely ruined everything. And now thanks to you guys, now no one's buying any of those things. You resellers think you can make money off it? Hell friggin' no, it was already done by this piece of trash Phoenix resell. He took advantage of the time at the time when he used to do it, he did it. Now ain't no one buying it. Don't friggin' get his app and be like, oh, I'm gonna buy your app and try to flip games. It's not happening anymore. The time has gone, that ship has sailed big time and it, sh and it sailed away with friggin' Phoenix Resales dirty SUV, which he hasn't cleaned in friggin' ages. That piece of trash with cockroaches in his goddamn friggin' SUV. And remember him in the little video that he made? Friggin' uh, under the uh, under some building while it's raining. He's like, guys, it's raining. I just want to quickly make this video and just give you an update. Yeah, uh, I was called a liar by a store owner. Yeah, you are a liar. Okay, you are a friggin' liar because you tried to take that expensive game from that expensive part of the store and then you tried to move it over to the friggin' uh, behind the counter $1 games. You tried to friggin' pull a quickie or a switcheroo with the goddamn pawn shop owner and then he was watching you the whole time because he looks suspect as hell. Okay, I'm not gonna friggin' fall for your little poindexter nerdy image that you have that you're so innocent. No, you're a greedy prick. You have a black heart and you're just in it for the goddamn money. You just wanna make as much money as possible uh, playing on to people's friggin' emotions of these old video games that people used to have. That's you, prick. You're the same piece of trash that goes to friggin' different garage stores, uh, garage uh, sales, and just a friggin' mom and pop, literal veterans. They're all veterans. They're all just friggin', they're literally about to have one foot in the grave. They're friggin' can't even afford their goddamn house rent bill because the freaking government's giving them no money because they're veterans right you know how that is right veterans get treated badly for some reason because that's the way the world is and then this piece of trash phoenix resale heads on over to mom and pop's garage sale and haggles them he haggles them for the freaking snes system and the Gen genesis system what a piece of garbage Makes me friggin' sick just because he has this image like he's so innocent. And it friggin' worked. There's all these cucked incels in his friggin' comment section praising this friggin' nerd just because he looks that way. No, he's not. He's the, don't follow his look. He's a really a piece of trash. The same piece of trash that avoids eye contact at friggin' game conventions, right? Because people want to friggin' go up to this guy, big YouTubers, small YouTubers, normal citizens. They want to come up to the guy, hey, thank you for ruining everything, you prick. We had a good thing going. Well, then a piece of trash like you came along with your stupid little friggin' reselling backpack and you ruined all the prices, dummy. Now, no one wants to buy anything. And because of you, Phoenix Resale, it's because of you that you promoted WADA Games, right? You WADA of games like Dennis Khan or whatever the hell his name is water games oh yeah I have this bright idea guys uh, you know how they friggin grade cards let's do it with games the whole point of friggin games is to be able to open the goddamn box read the manual or friggin read the artwork look at the artwork and then play the goddamn game on the goddamn system but for some reason water games had this bright idea let's grade it and put it behind plastic so you can never open it and then pieces of trash like Phoenix resale endorsed the goddamn thing Thing. He was like, yeah, this is great. Uh, that means more money for friggin' Phoenix Resale. And now he went around friggin' buying and reselling WADA graded garbage games that no one friggin' cares about. You can literally just get the emulator and ROM off the internet, play it for free, and then have yourself at it. But it's not about that, right? It's about making money. So yeah. This piece of trash endorses WADA games. And then when the WADA game scandal came out, where people were like, wait a minute, it's a bunch of loser teenagers working at WADA games, grading things, and they're not even properly looking at it. You have friggin' repros in the in, in the WADA case. You have friggin' fake games in the WADA case. You have fake ROM chips. You have a friggin', uh, it's supposed to be a Super Mario RPG, but the inside computer chip is a friggin' like NES golf cart or something. That's what was going on. And then this piece of trash, Phoenix Resale, stays quiet, right? He he doesn't say anything about that, right? What a scumbag. What a friggin' scumbag. Just cowered it away like the loser he friggin' is. And then he friggin' has this little whatnot thing where he's trying to sell his games to people. Take the goddamn camera out of your face. I don't wanna see your ugly face in the goddamn friggin' camera lens. That's the last thing I wanna see is some friggin' dirty neck beard that's so sly and scummy trying to friggin' sell me games. I wanna see the games that you're trying to sell me and laugh at the most ridiculous prices that you friggin' stated it at. You're the one that friggin' controlled the market of some of these games. I I saw in the comments section like there was a PS1 Grandia game or some sort of PlayStation 1 game and then after friggin Phoenix resales video of where he's talking about it then the friggin price got jacked up and then that was, it was too expensive to buy good job Phoenix resale how does that feel huh 
ruining everything. Everyone hates your guts. No one likes your little loser face. You have a friggin' wife who's the breadwinner of this relationship. She friggin' carries your behind while you're sitting around goofing off and having a circle jerk at friggin' game conventions, uh, frothing and seething at the mouth at the fact that friggin' you can't wait to friggin' hoard 14 Wii Sports, 5 Super Mario Nintendo DS games, and all this other crap so you can resell it for a profit for your own gain and your own friggin' popularity. You prick.